So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to the another great day of the Purity Dish Week of 170. So this weekend I'm, I've been traveling here and I'm doing work from home. So there will be some ups and downs in the time intervals of uploading the video, right? Because yesterday it was not possible at all. I was like continuously in car traveling to Pune. Uh, but still, let us continue this week further ahead in this new week and then we will go even further. So today's question name is maximum intersecting, intersecting lines and the tags here are mathematical sorting asked in Swiggy. Let us see what the question is saying and if you solve this question, it's well and good, able to uh, think of the approach, it's very good. Else, let's start it again from the beginning. So there are n horizontal line segments and in x axis of 2D plane. The start and end point are given. We need to find the maximum number of intersections possible of these vertical lines with the n line segments. So basically, uh, let's say we have this. Uh, number line and in the number line we have the intervals like this so one two three or uh, let me make it even bigger this is one two three then we have two two three and then we have one two two right one two 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 three and then we have four two four right four two four just a point so we need to find such a line the that line should cut the maximum <clears throat> intervals right so for x equals 2 if you, if you draw this line right so it is 1 2 2 right so if you draw the line here at this stage this vertical line then it will it will uh, connect the three intervals right 1 2 3 and 2 3 and 1 2 2 right so this is the way you need to find the maximum one okay so the first intuition <clears throat> sorry the brute force is that uh, let's say we have an interval right oh wait a second <clears throat> Yes, let us continue. So what we can do is we have to draw the vert uh, given uh, vertical line with the given n line segments, right? So let us say we have the point like this, one, two, three, right? And now if I need to draw, if I need to draw a vertical line on this point, then how can I check that it will overlap the next intervals? Definitely, if the another interval is getting overlapped with this vertical line, then definitely I can check if this that if point I have the axis of this point, right? This point I can definitely check that if point if this point lies in the range of the other another other intervals as well if that's the case i will just say current plus plus right so similarly i can check for each and every point right so for each and every point like this i have to check for one then i have to check for two i have to check for one and then four right that is what they are saying and now so we will be the first of all the brute force will be like we'll be needing a for loop that for i equals to zero i less than n i plus plus right we will store the first pointer uh, let's say uh, temp is equals to line of 0 and 0 right line of i and 0 and we will just check if this point lies in the range for other intervals right that is for we will run a for loop for let's say j equals to 0 to j less than n and j plus plus and since we are computing compute uh, if we are present at this i points i need to check for the other intervals so i will just write if if a statement that whenever i is not equals to j then then use the check this thing right so i just have to check if this fall in the another interval or not so so right so the the other intervals uh, uh, what to say ranges can be defined as j zero and line of j and one i just need to check that this variable this temp variable lies in this range or not less than equals to less than equals to. if that's the case i will just say current plus plus right and for each and every i i will define current equals to zero and at the last of these uh, lines of code this will be a nested for loop right i just have to return the maximum current answer right just to return the maximum current possible right so that's why i will need a i will maintain a variable let's say answer equals to zero and will return the maximum of answer comma current yes so that's the pseudo code of the brute force technique right and since it's a nested for loop then it would be taking n square right and the constraint i think given is as 10 power 5 and if you if you square the constraint of 10 power 5 it will give you 10 power 10 which is definitely greater than 10 power 8 so even if our code and approach is right this approach will give you the ple but let us pause this video and try to code this approach yourself and then we will proceed ahead so let me pause the video again and then we will go ahead hmm so i have written the code and i hope you guys were able to also code this very simple approach that's the nested for loop we are comparing for each and every intervals with rest of the intervals and we are checking that the coordinates of the uh, first interval that the that interval the line which we are drawing at the ith position right if it collides with the if it uh, uh, 
uh, if it uh, like crosses the range of the another intervals then we do current plus plus and at last if we just maintain the answer so that is it and let us compile you can see the compilation and compilation has passed successfully but if i hit the submit button it will definitely give us the clearly so let us verify that as well and then we'll proceed ahead so okay after passing 1,110 test, test cases, it is still processing. So definitely, um, like great, we got the TLE. So let us approach with the uh, efficient approach now. So what we can do is that instead of uh, instead of uh, checking for each and every interval because that's a repeating step, right? Repeating steps. So what we can do is that we can uh, uh, we can or uh, uh, let me tell you like this. So let's say you have the interval as one and three, right? And then you have the interval as one and two. Right, then you have from 1 to 2 and then you have from 2 to 3 and then you have as 4 comma 4 right so i can definitely see that if i just consider this point 1 right the starting point i can definitely see that i can draw two lines here right similarly if i consider uh, if i draw the line at line uh, let's say at vertical line is equal to 2 then uh, previously it was cutting the two two intervals that is 1 to 3 and 1 to 2 right but now if i draw the line at line equals to 2 the new interval that would be matching at 2 to 3 right so if I am able to store the frequency of the points, right, at that two in the sorted order, right. So let's let's store the intervals. So what are the intervals? One, two, three, and then we have one, two, two, and then we have two, two, three, and then we have four, two, four, right. So what I'm saying is that whenever we are encountering a new starting point, just increment it in our answer. So for that case, I am using a map here, right. Uh, let's use a map here, and then we can see that if we can do it or not, right. So the starting point are one and one, uh, right? So we have the two lines can be drawn from here. Then again, the starting point is two and the ending is also two. So for two, it would be first it will be plus one, then minus one it becomes zero, right? The logic here is that for all the starting points you do plus one, and for all the, uh, the the ending point you do the minus one, right? And then you will see that how the things are going maybe. So for three you can see there are two uh, ending points. So I will say let's say minus two and for four there are starting and ending so plus one and minus one so that is zero, right? But this should this should indicate that actually that uh, somehow in direct in direct relation to the number of lines we can draw, right? But you can clearly see that if I if I if I was able to draw at this x equals to four line, then clearly I would have got one as my answer, right? But this is giving me a zero. So kuch to uh, We cannot uh, use this thing. Uh, we we have to do some manipulations here. First of all, it should be a tree map, right? Map may randomly values the keys are stored in random order. And we need to traverse in the sorted order because then only we can make sure he just sum hoga, right? The sum of these values will give me my answer of the total uh, overlapping inter intervals that can be crossed by a particular line. Okay. So clearly for this four, I can see the discrepancy here, and I cannot do this thing. For one, I can see that I, if I draw the one, the two line will be possible. But for two, if I draw at two, then earlier I was getting the answer as two. Let's say we have an answer variable here. But if I draw at the two, then this two plus zero will give me like only two. But it in 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 the manual case, it should be like three intervals crossing, right? If I draw the line x equals to two, so that means that means कि हमें कुछ ending intervals साथ कुछ करना पड़ेगा, right? So I first I tried to run this code and then I I got an error कि for this for this three I was getting an answer two, right? So that is why explaining from the starting कि ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है, ठीक है? So that you can, you guys cannot face this error. So, फिर मैंने देखा कि if I if I do something plus one in my ending interval, right? So वो देखो काम कैसे करता है, ठीक है? First you visual, first you see the dry run that how it is actually changing, right? So if you do the plus one in the ending intervals, then your updated intervals will be one to four, then two to four, and then one to three, and then four to five, right? And do the same thing, plus one for ending and the minus one for, a uh, plus one for starting and minus one for ending. So you can clearly see that there are one, there are two, two instances for four. You can see, uh. What is it? Uh, for minus two, right? And it would be like minus one. Am I correct? Am I correct or not? Let me see. Yes. So where was I? Hmm. So for the four, you can see there are two four two instances of four in the ending points. So it will be minus two and once one in the here. Yeah, so it will be minus one. Similarly, for one we have considered so for two you will be see that only instance in the starting point so it would be one. Then for three you can see there is instances only present in the ending point minus one five and minus one. But since this thing will work only in the tree map because we are considering the 
फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लाइन फ्रॉम दी लेफ्ट हैंड साइड टू द राइट हैंड साइड इन टर्म्स कि हमें हर एक स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट से हमें पता चल जाए कि वेन एवर वी आर ड्राइंग एट लाइन द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट हाउ मेनी इंटरवल्स दे आर ट्रिगरिंग और दे आर ओवरलैपिंग राइट ठीक है ड्राइन देखो मे बी यूल बी एबल टू रिलेटेड मूव वेल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ये ट्री मैप है तो कीज जो है वो असेंडिंग ऑर्डर में अरेंज हो जाएंगे सो वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव एंड दी वैल्यूज प्रेजेंट आर वन फोर टू टू फोर वन एंड थ्री फोर माइनस वन एंड फोर फोर माइनस वन फाइव फोर माइनस वन राइट So let me use a different color now. So this is saying if if you maintain a sum variable, let's say, then this will give you the cumulative sum of two plus one, three, three minus one, two, two minus one will give you one, and five, one minus one will give you zero, right? So this is actually representing now the number of intervals you will made whenever you draw a line at this is at this point. If you draw a vertical line at x equals to one, then this is the number of intervals it will overlap. Similarly for Similarly for one to three to five, let us verify that all. So if I'm drawing drawing at the line at one, you can clearly say that the number of intervals it is overlapping is two, right? Correct. If I'm drawing a line at x equals to two, then the number of intervals it is overlapping is three, correct? And that is how that is how doing plus one in the ending index is helping me, right? Because earlier if I do not do this, then you are getting a answer which is uh like the answer if it have been three, then you are getting a lower answer, let's say two or maybe lower than three, right? ठीक है, let us visualize again. So for x equals to three, right? So it is saying if you draw a line at x, so you will get a maximum intervals overlapping will be two. Let us draw it here, and you can clearly see that the number of intervals it is overlapping is two, and that is why. And you can clearly see now if you if you draw a line for x equals to four, you can clearly see that it will overlap with just one intervals here. That is from four to four, and that is why you are getting an answer one. And similarly for five, there is no further points, so it will give you the zero, right? So you have to do this code. You have to make a map. Right, and then you have to use a for loop, and then in Java you can use a inbuilt function get or default, right, to put a variable inside it. So for let's say array of i, comma zero plus one, you can use this one for each and every element. So this is for the uh, starting index. For ending index, you can do minus one, the same pseudo code, right. And at last, once once you push all the elements, I'm just showing the pseudo code, right. Try to do this by yourself. Once you do this thing. and then you have to do then you have to iterate in map then iterate in map and find the maximum cumulative sum find maximum cumulative sum yeah so you can clearly see the sum in sum at this point is 2 then the maximum is 2 then for this point is 3 then the maximum updated to 3 then here is again 2 but the maximum 3 will be there then again 1 3 will be still prevailing and then 3 so the maximum will be 3 right and that's how this question is to be done right so let me pause the video and you also pause the video at the same time and try to code this solution by yourself uh, because i have already showed you enough pseudo codes so let us do it okay so i have coded the steps first we have made a tree map and then for iterating we in the 2d array of lines we are iterating for a particular 1d array and then we are storing the starting and the ending index the only trick here is that we have to do plus 1 here why i already showed you in the dry run if you do not do it then how the answer is changing i already showed you then use the get or default function to if it if the value is present it will take if it is not present it will take zero and if it is present it will take the actual value and do plus one for the starting index and minus one for the ending index at last you just have to iterate in the map and you have to find the maximum of the cumulative sum so you have declared two variables answer and comma zero for each and every entry you are doing the get value plus uh, keeping track of the sum of the uh, values in this current variable and for each and every entry as well you are maintaining the maximum current sum right and at last you have to return that maximum sum right so now the overall time complexity is just o of n right but since we are it's a tree map it is already handling uh, the ascending and or descending order in this case ascending order so it it takes the extra complexity of log n so it would be o of n and then log n to put the elements so it would be uh, the the overall time complexity would be n log n and uh, since the constraint is 10 power 5 so if you do 10 power 5 into log of 10 power 5 it would be definitely less than 10 power 8 and Our code will get submitted. So great! So we have successfully submitted the code. Let us end this video here. Before ending it, let me show you the C plus plus code as well. So that's the exact C plus plus code we made, we just made to make a map here, and then we can do this, right? So try running this code. Uh, maybe if you have to make ordered map, then what are the changes? Please do it yourself. I request you. Ah, uh, for this, uh, from the coming week, I will do. I will show you the exact C plus plus code, right? And I've also paused my DSC series for this week. Also, I'm not switching on my camera because you know, right? So we will continue with the full th throttle with the next weekend, upcoming weekend. But this UTG streak will never stop. 
uh, just for the uh, yesterday's question uh, i was not at all available at my home right so it was very difficult to do it outside my home right that is why let us end this video here and then we'll make in the another beauty streak of day 161 till then bye bye take care keep learning and keep growing bye bye